Hello, wonderful people, and good morning. Thank you for joining me for this vlog. This will be an interesting vlog because I will be vlogging throughout the whole week. I am getting ready right now to attend my first ever Pancha Karma, which is sort of like a retreat that it's meant to cleanse the body inside and out and relieve some illnesses, maybe make some of them better and in hopes that maybe some of them can be cured as well. And uh, this is an Arjurveda process. It is going to be according to your dosha type. So I am Vata and my Panchakarma will be mostly directed towards that dosha. Pancha means five and karma means action. So it is five actions done to cleanse the body. So I will take you through my whole week. I'm packing up my bag and getting all my essentials and packing light, but always, always taking my sesame seed oil with me as I use it before my showers every single day to pacify my vata. And it is actually good for all doshas. If you are pitta type, you may benefit more from coconut oil, uh, a biang before showering. And some people do it after showering. I rather do it before because that way my clothes don't get all sticky with oil. my yoga school which is also an Ayurveda um, place and um, I'm here getting my pancha karmas so I am excited because I've never done that before and um, I know it's gonna bring my doshas into balance and I really need it yeah so I wanted to document this and um, so you guys can get an idea of what a pancha karma looks like it's going to be a little bit different for most for different people depending on your dosha and your needs but this will give you a basic idea and help you decide if you want to do something like this so let me give you a quick tour of the room where i'm going to be staying in it's just a just a simple very cute very minimalistic room and here is my schedule massage was amazing I could feel myself like getting lost in it and like sort of like in a trance I guess you can say not fully awake not fully asleep but it was amazing I came out pretty relaxed did uh, the cleansing of the ear canals nose eyes and mouth and um, and now um, I have just finished uh, some eye exercises that I was sent to do and um, I just finished also my my meditation that I do every day regardless of pancha karma and now I'm just waiting until 8 p.m. to do my dinner to have my dinner and then at 9 p.m. I'll have some vaporization of some herbs so I'm supposed to like inhale some some herbal remedies and um, some vapors from that. So in the meantime, um, I'm gonna, you know, take this opportunity to do some studying for my teacher training. Hello, good morning, and welcome to day two. I just finished my first treatment, which is a pineapple juice with herbs that is meant to make me go to the bathroom. After that, I did some yoga with torsions in it to really accelerate the process of cleaning my intestines. And then I went ahead to the altar in my school to do my meditation with mudras and my mala beads. After that, it was lunchtime at 2 p.m. and went ahead after that and did another therapeutic Arjurveda massage at 4. And then I ended up in class doing some vinyasa yoga flow. followed that with 
dinner at 8 p.m. And more herbal vap vaporizations. If you don't know what that is, I forgot to include it in the video. But you basically put your head over a hot pot of a herbal water and it's a lot of steam and you put a towel over your head and you inhale the vapors of these herbs. In my case, it was eucalyptus. Good morning. I am definitely not excited about today. Today I am doing a few things, um, including the first day in the morning, about to come pretty soon, a vamana. And vamana is something they give you so you can throw up. So yesterday was the the pineapple drain that makes me go to the bathroom often. Uh, you know, it gives you diarrhea. And um, today it's purging the other way. And um, stay tuned for the rest of the day because today is an exciting day. I'm supposed to feel really light and good after the Valmana, so I'm excited about that. <laughs> so it was actually not that bad. It was this concoction right here. It looks hideous, but I promise you it doesn't taste as bad. And I actually didn't throw up as much as I thought I would. It was actually really not that uncomfortable as I thought. So I'm feeling all better from my Valmana. And um, after the Vamana, I had a herbal bath, which um, for obvious reasons I did not include that in the video. But basically it's a bunch of delicious smelling herbs that um, are really, really hot. And so I sit inside the shower and, with these herbs in a pot and just kind of inhaling the steam and letting it go through my pores and my body. And then uh, as the water cools down, then I pour that all over my body. And, it smells amazing, <laughs> so that was nice. And um, yeah, I'm excited for my next therapy. You will see what that is soon. Also today, after the vamana and um, after pretty much not eating that much today, and after not eating that much today, just lunch, um, I feel pretty tired. Like. I don't normally take naps, and I haven't, but if I wanted to try to take a nap, I could. Um, <laughs> but I guess that's just a result of, of not having that much energy consumed, so I don't have that much energy to expend, and I, I can't imagine, I, I don't know how you people do it. You, the, the people that fast, like, for days or do water fast, like um, that's nuts. And um, I applaud you for it. You, you are, you are amazing. My husband included because he's done liquid fast, and um, yeah, I know that was hard on him. <laughs> So after a pretty hefty lunch to hold me, because that will be the only meal for today, I did my Shiro Dara massage, which is amazing and it's my favorite thing out of this whole process. It's basically hot oil, the oil will depend on your dosha type, and the oil is poured through a stream on your third eye on the center of your forehead, and um, it feels amazing guys. It feels very meditative. If you have a hard time getting into that headspace to meditate, I highly recommend that you try this because it's almost impossible not to be in the zone. It's such a beautiful sensation. So if you're not into the whole pancha karma thing, I recommend that you at least book a Shirodara session. You will not regret it. So after the Shirodara is a intestinal enema which I did not include into this video for obvious reasons. But let me tell you, if you have ever, if you have ever gotten an enema for medical reasons in the hospital, doctor's office, then you know how uncomfortable that is. This was nothing like that. It was comfortable. It's not the same liquid that you get at a doctor's office. So it's warm. It's warm to like your body temperature. So it doesn't feel horrible on your gut. And 
dice, today was the day that I was more worried about when I began, when I woke up this morning, and actually, I feel amazing. I feel super light. For day four after breakfast, I did a Shirodara session again, and then after lunch, I did my Reiki and Shiatsu massage. So I finished my Shiatsu massage and Reiki session, and um, well, that was something. <laughs> I definitely feel really good after it. I, today's, uh, tomorrow's the last day. I leave Saturday early in the morning, but really tomorrow would be the last day. And um, I feel really good so far. I think everything is coming together to, to really help my health and my, my mental health, and my physical health. And um, I feel really good. Um, Going forward from here, I have to make just really wise decisions on how I eat and really listen to my body. Um, I've never done Reiki before, so that was a new experience for me. I'm not completely convinced about the pendulum, but what I am convinced about is that anything done with intention and love um, is going to produce results. And intention, intention is everything. So. And you can tell just how much good intention and loving intention the therapist had towards me. And uh, that in itself is enough for me to believe that it's going to have a positive effect on me, regardless of what I think about crystals and healing, uh, Reiki healing, which is something that uh, me being a more science-based person, I'm not completely on board with. But like I said, intention, uh, is everything and I was there with an open heart to receive um, and she was there giving you know everything of herself as a therapist to help me so I feel really good after the therapy so I'm almost done and I'm sad I have a yoga class right now that I'm gonna do but I won't be recording because my phone is dying and uh, then it will be dinner and then nausea. So nausea consisted on uh, nausea oil applied inside my sinuses, activating my marma points on my face to really soak up all the benefits of the procedure. And, um, and that was it for day four. For day five, I started with Rakto Mokshana. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. It, it is a drink to purify your blood. After that, I had breakfast, another mudra and japa mala meditation, lunch, my very last therapeutic massage, Ayurveda massage session, dinner, vaporizations, and then home. So this concludes my Panchakarma retreat. I hope you have enjoyed and I hope this makes, helps you make a decision on whether this is something you would like to incorporate into your yogi lifestyle. Have an awesome day, my yogis.